Hi, welcome. My name is Christian Ackerman with Missoula Community Access Television. I'm a production instructor there. I'm also a film instructor at the MAPS Media Institute um, at mapsmediainstitute.com and also MCAT's address is mcat.org.org. Anyway, so I'm just going to do the basic, very um, basic setup for Final Cut Pro. So we're going to open Final Cut Pro. This is 10.2. Um, and basically it's the newer version of Final Cut Pro and right now it's asking me if I want to open any of my last projects so I'm not I'll, I'm just gonna uh, make a new project normally it'll open Final Cut Pro uh, X or 10.2 will op just open up and you won't get one of these prompts but because I've been editing with it, it it's gonna open with um, uh, prompt of like old projects and old things I were I have been working on or latest things I've been working on. So right now, because of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up Final Cut Pro. This is the point of this to set it up so that you're ready to edit and you know where your files are being saved. And it's very simple. So let's just get to it. So just if you follow these steps, you'll be set up and ready to go. And then I'll be putting another video on um, other process. Other very simple setups um, of like when you're moving files and importing and you need to check things so that'll be in the future but right now this is just how to set up Final Cut Pro so here we go I'm gonna create a new one and right now um, I'm gonna pick my portable hard drive which is over here is the left column there's portable hard drive right here as you can see um, which you can see on the desktop right here so I'm gonna click on portable hard drive and I'm going to save, I already have a folder I can save in or I can save right to the hard drive, which I'm just going to save right to the hard drive. So I'm going to call it um, FCPX How To. How about that? And now I'm going to hit save. And what it just did, if you look, this is all Final Cut Pro 10. If you look up over here, there's a little column called libraries and in that library is what I just made. I created this little um, library called FCPX how to and always when you're starting a new project or say you've been working on one and now you're you want to make sure you're doing it the right way um, so you're saving everything in the right area because um, you probably have, maybe you've saved things on a hard drive went to another computer somewhere like a friend's house or whatever or in the job field and you you hook up that hard drive you open it up and you're missing files and stuff like that if you do it this way you're not going to have any missing media files so basically this is how you set up so um, you can rewind the video take a look at it and then come back here and we'll continue on if you need to like double check how you did everything anyway so you this is what I just created Final Cut Pro X how to um, Here's our smart collections folder. It kind of makes it so it wants you fill up your import media window over here to the right of the libraries column. You can if you can just uh, separate out. I just want to look at the video. I just want to look at the audio only. You can make favorites by marking like right clicking and marking things. So you can call them favorites things that you're looking at projects when you're doing multiple projects and stills. This is just a way so you can sort through numbers and numbers or many files um, quickly. And that's what the Smart Collections folder is. But don't worry about this. This is what we're worrying about is the library and this right here. So I, today I'm making this video May 13th, uh, 2015. And this is our event. So right here is our event, Smart Collections folder, and the library. The library is the key thing. The library you can have multiple projects in, multiple events. So like if I'm going to create a number of how-to videos, I'm going to put them all in this library. Um, if I'm going to start a new movie project, if I go over here and I'm going to start a new movie project, I'm not going to start by making a new library by clicking on project. I'm going to click new library and say, I'm going to say I'm making my movie project. I'm going to save it to where I want to save it to this hard drive or say if it's a different place I can save it somewhere else but I'm going to save it to the portal hard drive and then I hit save and now I have see I have two libraries this whatever I import into this 
the events that are associated underneath this library. Like if I click on this event and import some pictures or whatnot, I'm going to do that right now. Um, then these will be associated with this library. If I click on movies and I click in it and I pick something to put in the movies, now this is associated with this library. Pretty straightforward. What that means is um, it's just so you can keep everything separated out. So once you're done with one project and you're like, okay, I'm done with it, I want to erase it without hindering or ruining um, your other project you're working on, you can uh, delete, I can like say I'm done with movies folder, I can just close that library, move it to the trash later on, and it won't uh, mess up what I'm doing here. Um, the other thing is after you imported um, items into your events and into your library, you can, to make sure, like say you want to share it or you want to move it to a new hard drive, before you move everything to a new hard drive, like after you've imported on your first edit of the day, your first um, opening Final Cut Pro and you're getting set up, um, I would do this. I would go up to your library, right click, and then consolidate library files. And you have choices to do optimized media and proxy media. I'm not going to go over that today. So I, I would advise just for when you're starting out, just uncheck those for right now, like so, and just hit OK. And what it's going to do right now, as you can see in here, it was, uh, if you rewind the video, you can see that my little um, uh, progress or task um, indicator, the, the 100, it went from 0% up to 20, then 100%. It was making sure and um, copying any files that I imported outside of my um, library and making sure they were um, permanently put into this library. So if I move the library around from another hard drive to another thing, uh, to another hard drive, it, these things would come with it and not be left on the computer. Now, if not, any of this doesn't make sense, don't worry. Just back up the video or I'm going to just do a quick review right now if you want to hang in there. Basically, what you do when you're creating, you're starting brand new, you want to go File, New, Library first. You create your library, name your library, whatever it is, a movie or whatnot. Find the hard drive, find where you want to save it. You want to know where you're saving it, which I picked my hard drive, and then hit save. Then, once you've created your new library, now you can go in and start importing um, media into that um, new library, okay? I'm not going over any of the import window stuff right now, but I'm just showing you that. And then the last thing, just double check before you're done, you're finished that day, you've done a little bit of editing, just go up here to your new library, which is these little mini boxes, right click on it, consolidate library files, it's gonna ask you this, make sure optimize and proxim media is unchecked, this is what it looks like when they're checked, you want them unchecked, and then hit OK, and then this will do, maybe, it might not, it might not do anything, if it doesn't do anything, and this thing, check, make sure this thing's not um, uh, going from 0% up to 100, make sure it's not actually in task or in progress with blue bars um, before you close down, let it finish, and then two, it'll prompt you if you close down Final Cut and quit it, it'll tell you it's doing background tasks. Now, I'm not going to, you can see everything else, this was just a simple video on how to set up your Final Cut Pro um, project so you can start editing. And I'll have more videos in the future. If you have any comments, leave, leave comments down below. And I hope this helped you. I'll try to make it really quick, simple, unedited, raw, um, not clean. And thank you for uh, bearing with me on that. And I hope I made it very simple. Just rewind the video, go back and look and see if this will help you. But that's how you set up. And then basically, my final note, let's say I'm closing a quit Final Cut Pro, is now if I go into my hard drive, you can see the libraries I made. And if I wanted to move a library from this hard drive to this one here, I literally, all I have to do is drag it 
over to my hard drive and I authenticate it and then it'll move over there and then everything will be moved over without any question since if you follow those instructions that's how it will work and you'll be fine you'll be able to move projects back and forth and then I can delete things and all that I can highlight delete trash these but these are the libraries these hold everything your events your data all your stuff that's how you, um, you hold it I'm not gonna get into details there's other um, ways of um, uh, you know categorizing and also um, organizing your data but this is just one simple way so you don't have to think too much about it and just do it and you'll be okay and you'll be on a good launching pad to shoot out there and get your movie done. So thank you for watching. Again, my name is Christian Ackerman, um, production instructor with Missoula Community Access Television, MCAT.org, and also film instructor with MAPS Media Institute at MAPSmediaInstitute.org. Thank you for watching.